Welcome to Autopedia World and we're going to discuss today about decode seeds. First, let's define what is decode seeds. When we say decode seeds, it have two seed leaves inside the seed coat. They are usually rounded and fat because they contain the endosperm to feed the embryo plant. And this is also called as decotylene dots. In terms of germination, decode seeds usually germinate and produce two seed leaves. They contain the food for the new plant, so they are usually fattened than the true leaves. The first true leaves are often a different shape. We have three parts for decode seeds. We have the eryngium. Next one, we have the sanguisorba. And last, we have clandentus. Decode seeds in terms of leaves. Leaves of decode seeds come in many different shapes and sizes. The veins go from the central midrib to the edge of the leaf, crossing and joining to form a knitted pattern all over the leaf. We have three examples. We have the malva, rosa, campanula. Decode seeds in terms of stem and roots. The stem of decode seeds are usually tall. They can grow wider each year and are often branched. They sometimes have stipules at the base of the leaf. The root is often a single long top root with smaller roots growing from it. As the example picture, we have here the decode seed stem, stipule, and the root. Decode seeds flowers and the flowers are usually have four or five parts and the calyx is a separate ring of sepals under the corolla and it is usually green. For example, we have Unotera, Epilobium, and Geranium. In terms of seed pot or fruits, the seeds of decodes are very variable in shape, size, and texture. The seed pod can have any number of chambers from none to many, and there are often more seeds in a seed pod than in a monocot seed pod. For example, we have the lychnis, erigeron, and clitoria. So this is about decode seeds. Thank you for listening. It's a video world.